New video surfacing today showing Derek Chauvin using force on people in Minneapolis years before he murdered George Floyd. The city of Minneapolis has settled with the victims in two separate cases. CBS News Dick Brennan here now with the latest. Dick. Maurice and Christine, both lawsuits in 2017 say Chauvin used excessive force using his knee on their necks just like he did to George Floyd. We're going to show you some very disturbing video from the cases provided by the victims. Get up now. He touched me in my own house. This video provided by the victims in the case show Officer Derek Chauvin using excessive force on 14-year-old John Pope. It happened in 2017, some three years before Chauvin murdered George Floyd. Don't get hit me! I didn't hear I didn't hurt her! Mom, stop! But even more disturbing, Chauvin is later seen with his knee on Pope's neck, the same thing he did to Floyd. Minneapolis settled with Pope for $7.5 million, saying Chauvin actively sought to prey on compliant black arrestees. This how black Officer, people can get treated. This how black people get treated. Also in 2017, Zoya Code was arrested by Chauvin and brutalized, despite giving no resistance. Ow! That's how you gonna slap me on the ground? That's how you gonna do me? Just like all the other black people, huh? Just like the rest, huh? He's We're gonna be dead. And while Code is tied up for no reason, once again Chauvin has his knee on her neck. Her attorneys say for more than four minutes, the city settled with Code for nearly $1.4 million. The mayor says if Chauvin had been disciplined for these incidents, George Floyd would still be alive today. Derek Chauvin is exactly where he should be, which is in federal prison. He should have been fired in 2017. He should have been held accountable in 2017. And more than five years later, John Pope says he doesn't want this to define his life. Cameras hold us accountable for things that we do today. Without cameras, then it will be a lot of things that goes he said, she said. An agreement was agreed to between the city, the police department, and the state's Department of Human Rights overhauling the Minneapolis Department's use of force guidelines. Christina Maurice. So disturbing. Dick, thank you.